So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there, this is Robin Norgren. I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. We're in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West, where we're taking a different twist on how to connect with God through the words and the works of sacred mystics, for lack of a better way to describe them, Um, and looking at God through the lens of love rather than always through the lens of authority and judgment. Um, And so without further ado, we are featuring uh, Rumi, and this will be our last segment on Rumi, and we'll move on to the next sacred voice. Uh, This poem is called Huddled Beneath the Sky. The sadness I have caused any face by letting a stray word strike it. Any pain I have caused you. What can I do to make us even? Demand a hundredfold of me. I'll pay it. During the day, I hold my feet accountable to watch out for wondrous insects and their dwellings. Why would I want to bring horror into their extraordinary world? Magnetic fields draw us to light. They move our limbs and thoughts. But it is still dark. If our hearts do not hold a lantern, we will stumble over each other. Huddled beneath the sky as we are. This next one is called Hey. The grass beneath a tree is content and silent. A squirrel holds an acorn in its praying hands, offering offering thanks, it looks like. The nut tastes sweet. I bet the prayer spiced it up somehow. The broken shells fell on the grass, and the grass looks up and says, Hey! And the squirrel looks down and says, Hey! And I've been saying hey lately, too. Hey to God. The formalities just weren't working. This one's called, Can You Become Such a King? I want that kind of grace from God that when it hits, I won't get off the floor for days. And when I finally do stagger into a semblance of poise... I will still need a cane and shoulder to help me walk. And I will need great patience from any who try to decipher my slurred speech. You should forget about knowing the friend unless you're willing to kiss the world with great abandon. Locked like a pair of dogs openly making love in the streets. Impervious to shouts and pails of water being thrown and glares from eyes that pass. Can you become such an egoless king? Deceive our glory. Something inside said I was a mineral and I was glad to just be. I replied, I'll take that job. It sounds like fun. But after eons, roots appeared on my soul that wanted me to nurse from a warm body. And the wonder from her love the tenderness of the earth lifted me into the air and I beheld light and praised it from the fields. Time sculpted my senses in another song I heard. You are more than plant. 
you are like extraordinary beasts. So I believed that and roamed and roamed. But then I started thinking, what is my real truth? I became the wings on falcons and angels and I flirted with God in the sky. And I believe that he, once in a while kissing me, was be, would be as close to love as I would get. But now I know. All the words and images deceive our glory. I might need to squeeze in one more segment on Rumi. Because it's been just so delicious, hasn't it? All right, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and share, like, subscribe. Talk to you soon.